crime and erotic story, Bloody Orchid. Author and reading, Mr. Mysterious. Prologue. Damn, it's cold. Fucking Polish Adam. Warming up by rubbing my frozen fingers together and gritting my teeth. Bialystok, Polish city in the Podlaski Voivodeship, often called the capital of Podlasie. Looks more like a shitty forsaken village at the world's end. Rather than a city with the population of 300,000 people, especially at this time of year. The streets, bars and stations are early empty. Reminiscence of a place hit by atomic bomb. The lively spots, bustling with resident and tourist in spring and summer, now resemble abandoned open-air museums of extinct civilization. Bialystok, known for its parks and greenery, was once recognized as Poland's greenest city. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. The abundance of secluded areas, however, makes it easier for me to carry out my plan. I know what I want to do and think about it constantly. I'm prepared, having meticulously planned everything, every movement, every second, every muscle twitch. They say serial killers are methodical. I might be Dale Dalty. I even feel like one. Except for this damn weather. Fuck, why does it have to rain like this? I park here. A perfect spot to hide the car. The mud shows tire tracks, but that's fine. I'm changing the car afterwards, creating the full lead. Okay, I wait a bit longer. I decide, letting my target savor the bliss of life. For a few more moments, unknowingly, I let her. Last breath, so fresh air. The mere thought what I'm about to do sends adrenaline, an excitement coursing through my veins. Do I really want it? Yes, I crave it. It's time now. I reassure myself, stepping out of the car into the persistent rain. It must be today. I can't wait another couple of weeks. Damn, it's so slippery. I just hope I don't slip in this mud. Everything must go according to plan. The area is deserted. No one's around. On a day like this with the pouring rain, only idiots or the most hardcore athletes would be out running in this forest. I know she is one of them. She's no fool. She's a well-known local news reporter. Beautiful, intelligent and independent. She's perfect. I've been observing her for months. I know her entire lifestyle. I know what she does, who she meets, how she lives and who she fucks. A great journalist a loving mother and unfaithful wife. That's why I chose her. She must atone for her sins. She must see what I see. Feel the pain she conflicts on her loved ones. She must be cleansed. In this hood and raincoat, I might look like a serial killer from one of those cliche American movies. Maybe they write about stereotyping us. Fuck it. It's time to act. Hmm. It's 8.45 p.m. She should be passing through here soon. I position myself behind the tree. Out of sight. The rain eases a little. Is that someone running? Could it be her? It's hard to see clearly. This is the only place with the running path. She must come this way. Any moment now and I'll know. Someone approaches quickly. Yes, 
It's her, I was right. Moment of focus, I slow my breath, tense my muscles. No time for hesitation. I must act quickly. Two straightforward moves, just as I planned. I grab her shoulder and head, then with brute force, I smash her forehead against the tree. Quick, decisive movements. All right, let's start. Three, two, one. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Which way to Vieska Street? To Vieska Street, you go... Excuse me, what are you doing? She's mine, forever now. I must make her see what I see, to purify her. Okay, I need to move her to more secluded place. The place I choose among many. For the cleansing ritual, I hope this sleeping aid is as effective as the label claims. Because the journey is long, just need to put her in the trunk. But first, I must tie her up. Fuck, this tying up is so difficult. Everything is so soaked. How much does she weigh? I read somewhere that with such an athletic figure, it's the muscles that weigh the most. All right, no time to dwell on this now. Time to move. In an hour, I should be at the place. Exactly when she wakes up. Exactly when I begin to open her up. I purify every part of her body. Until I reach the heart and soul. Today, I will create a new masterpiece. One to be remembered by all. Today, I become a god again. <laughs>